And our weather go from the 1400. Fourth estate, a little bit slow into stride with Lake Arthur. Joshua's crown, Tuscan's right there, King of Torts, Choir Maiden, and Distinguished, looking to be settled in off the speed today. Lake Arthur, fourth estate's along the inside, and Candy Moon is the trailer. Moving along towards the 1,000 metre disc, and Tuscan has the call three parts of a length. Joshua's crown stalks him in second, King of Torts, and there's a move from Distinguished around them to race up a share of second. Choir Maiden just gets a scrub or two at the fence to stay in touch with them. Four lengths off the leader, Green Cap. Lake Arthur gets alongside her. Fourth estate held up for his dash and Candy Moon, six lengths in it. 600 out and Tuscan has the lead. Joshua's crown at the fence, distinguished on the right-hand side. Orange Silks of King of Torch just waits. Choir Maiden continues to be ridden at toward the inside. Lake Arthur, Candy Moon. Tuscan as they come to the 300 meter marker. King of Torts now looms up a danger on the outside. Candy Moon, extreme right hand side. White sleeves and cap. Choir Maiden's on the inside. King of Torts, Candy Moon now looking to run on. Lake Arthur's on the inside. Here comes Candy Moon with a devastating finish. Lake Arthur on the inside, but Candy Moon timed it well. Second position, Lake Arthur. King of Torts, Joshua's crown, Choir Maiden, Tuscan distinguished, and fourth estate. Beautiful comeback run for Candy Moon, the son of Lundy's liability. Three lengths behind Futura last time out. And this 1,400 metre trip, he was really quickening up, coming to the 300. And it just drifts slightly to the centre, but has matters under control and wins about three parts of a length. Lake Arthur looking to put his nose down for that second spot. But Candy Moon registers that fifth career victory. Well done to the Paul Gatsby stable in the connections. King of Torts, then further back, Joshua's crown. Choir Maiden was off the bridle early. Long-time leader, Tuscan, then came Distinguished and Fourth Estate. Well, a 90,000 ran by Candy Moon, angled right to the outside. King of Torts moved up, coming to the 300, but you can see by the body language of the rider, Sean Cormack, Candy Moon had a bit more to offer. They come right alongside with 150 to go. Lake Arthur now looks to run on late, but it's going to be Candy Moon now. Stick in the right hand from King of Torts, Lake Arthur, all three riders with a sabre in their right hand going to the post, but number seven, Candy Moon, comes back with that powerful finish and will go on to score race number eight over the 1400 meter trip. Lake Arthur with the blinkers on looking to get up for second. The orange silks of King of Torts behind these runners. One race left on the card. That's race number nine over 1400 meters. We we'll hand you back to the studio. Well, number seven, Candy Moon has won a cracking good race. 152 days out of the, uh, off the track, I should say, by Lundy's liability. Bedmaster Kleinans out of that Silvano mare. And Sean Cormack, I don't think he's ridden it before, given it a great ride to come home. So this horse is better than anyone thinks and uh, a wonderful prep for the big race in uh, a short period of time. But well done to number seven, Candy Moon. The gelding by Lundy's liability has won the eighth.